and welcome to DTWG The Prep. Okay, and today we are going to be looking at parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, and what's this about? Sometimes you see some questions in the GED on parallel perpendicular lines. We're going to be seeing several questions. Okay, let me just show you the questions. Yeah, like seven questions that you can likely get from the GED. All right. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Okay. So likely questions we can get from the GED on parallel and perpendicular lines. We're going to go through them. Okay. So what is parallel? What is perpendicular? And why do they concern us? Okay. It's just a way to check if two linear equations are parallel or perpendicular, ch checking the relationships and to know that you have to check the relationship between their slopes. Okay. All you need to know is for parallel lines, their slopes must be equal. That's the slope of line one, the linear equation or line one should be equal to the slope of line two, okay? And the lines will never intersect, okay? But they would be in the same plane and will have different y-intercepts. What is y-intercept? That is where their line touches the y-axis, okay? They're going to have different y-intercepts, but be in the same plane, all right? And for your perpendicular lines, their slopes are different. They are not the same. Okay, so where you have your M1, the slope of the first one, multiply the slope to the slope of the second one would give you a negative one. Okay, and they are perpendic perpendicular in the, in the sense that they form adjacent right angles. You can see this right angle here. They cross each other, they intersect, the lines intersect. That means they touch. Parallel lines don't touch. You can see there's no touching. Okay, but perpendicular line touch and at that particular point where they touch, they form a right angle triangle. And M1 and M2 is what, the, their relationship is what M1 times times M2 is equal to a negative one. Okay, so these are the two things, key things that you have to know. All right, so now let's treat some questions. I would... Okay, now look at these questions here. Okay, it says here, the line y equal to 4x minus 2 on the same coordinate plane as the line y equal to 4x plus 7. Are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So these are some questions you can get from the GD asking you if two lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. Okay, so uh, what are you focusing on? It's the slopes. Okay, remember our slope intercept, uh, slope intercept form is y equal to mx plus b, where m is what the slope, okay? Your equation of the line should be likened to the slope intercept form. So where m will be the slope. So from here, the value of the slope of this line is 4, all right? This is the first line. And the value of the second line is also 4. You can see they are the same. Remember, as I said, that when m1 is equal to m2 it means that what the lines are parallel all right so for this question the answer is what parallel when your m1 is equal to m2 the lines are parallel okay and you can see here they say they are on the same plane but here they have different values of their y intercept b is the y intercept different values but their m1 and m2 is the same now look at this. It says, given the two equations of the two lines, we have this, this is the first one, this is the second one. Are these lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? All right. As I said, when you ask questions like this, you're looking at the slope. All right. So here, this is the slope. Two is the slope. And here, negative one over two is the slope. And you can see here, they are different. So definitely, it is not parallel. Two and negative half is different. Let us test if it's perpendicular. Remember, as I said, for perpendicular, the slopes will multiply each other to give us negative one. So let's test. Our first slope is two. Our second slope is negative one over two. You can see this one will multiply two would cancel out two. We're left with one. And one times negative one is a negative one. So these two equations are perpendicular. Okay. Now, look at this question. It says, a line parallel to this must have a slope of a line parallel to this must have a slope of now 
for us to solve this, we must change this. This must be likened to the slope intercept form. I've thought this in the, uh, in the video, uh, slope intercepts. Okay, please watch that video. Yes, I forgot to mention, um, I have curated all these videos in a video course free of charge. It's in the dtwgedprep.com website. Okay, dtwgedprep.com. Just check, you see free courses, click there and you see the algebra course. I have arranged everything or everything about algebra from basics, equations, you know, verifying, and evaluating, simplifying everything, quadratic equation, one step, inequality. I have done all this free video course for you arranged. So do make sure you go through the course. All right. So we must, and there are other things like summary notes on social studies, sciences there on the website. Okay. You would find a lot of valuable resources for you. So I have now, we must change this to slope intercept form. I have thought this, but I'm going to do it again. So to convert this to slope intercept form, y has to stand alone. So in doing this, you have 4x minus 2y equal to 8. Take x here, 4x here. So we have here left here minus 2y equal to, um, I'm going to put, taking a positive, this is positive 4x, crossing it to the other side becomes a negative 4x. This is still a positive, so I'll leave it as a positive 8. Here, we're not complete. Y is not standing alone. It must be likened to this expression. So we must now divide everything by a negative two. Okay, divide everything by a negative two. So this would cancel. Now we have Y standing alone. This negative will cancel this negative four uh, divided by two, that's a two X. This is a positive and a negative. Okay, when you divide, it's gonna give us a negative and eight divided by two is a four. So you can see now we are liking to this. So it's easy now for us to get our slope, right? M, all right? So our slope is what? Two. So a line parallel to 4x minus 2y must have a slope of two, okay? Because, you know, remember, if a line is parallel to another line, their slopes will be equal. So if M1 is two, M2 must be two. So the answer here is two. Okay, now look at this now. It says here, a line perpendicular to this must have a slope of, so let's convert this and get the slope, then get the second slope. Okay, in converting this, what do we do? We have five X minus two Y equal to seven. I will take five X here. You know, we have to liken it to the slope intercept form. So we have negative two Y equal to Taking 5x here, that's a negative 5x plus 7. I'll divide everything by a negative, divide by a negative, divide by a negative. This cancels, we have y, and this will, negative will cancel this negative. We have 5 over 2x. Then this would be a negative. Positive divided by negative to be a negative 7 over 2. Okay, so from here you can see our slope is what? A positive 5 over 2. So our slope here, m1 is a positive five over two. Remember for a perpendicular line, if we know M1 as five over two, remember, well, M1 times M2 will be equal to negative one. So if we know M1, let me come down here. We know M1 as one five over two times M2 equal to negative one. Okay, so what do we do? We have to what? You know, we have to solve this. Okay, and the way to solve this is just simply do take your, uh, how, how am I going to do it? How, how, how? We divide both sides by 5 over 2. Okay, we divide both sides by 5 over 2. That's the best, simplest way. Uh, for me, I would have just cross multiplied. I would have just done a 2 here, then put, bring it 5 down. But let me explain this. Let me break it down to the basic form. So we divide both sides by 5 over 2. Okay, so this would be uh, 5 over 2, all right, divided by 5 over 2, we have m square here, then minus 1 divided by 5 over 2. Remember in division, when you are dividing, the division sign will change to multiplication, and when it changes to multiplication, you invert, you invert the, your divisor. So this becomes 5 over 2 times 2 over 5 m2 so you can see this would cancel out to give us a one 
and 1 times m2 is m2. And here we have negative 1. This division sign will change to multiplication and we invert. 2 comes up, 5 goes down. And finally, we have our m2. Negative 1 times this will give us a negative 2 over 5. So m2 will have a slope of negative 2 over 5. Okay? So a line perpendicular to this must have this slope. So if m1 is 5 over 2, m2, the second line, should be negative 2 over 5. Okay? Now, I have to clear this so we solve. All right? So now we have uh, number 5. It says, if a line is perpendicular to this, what is the slope of the perpendicular line? If a line is perpendicular to this, what is the slope of the perpendicular line? Now, this is easy, okay, because this is already likened to our slope intercept form, which is y equal to mx plus b. Okay, so our m is 2. All right, so our first m1 is 2. So what would be m2? Remember, m1 times m2 is equal to negative 1. So if we have m as 2 times m2 equal to negative 1, to get m2, what do we do? We divide both sides by 2, right? So when we divide by 2, divide by 2, positive 2. Okay, this cancels and we have m2. This will cancel out, right? Oh, sorry, this is negative 1. Negative 1. So this becomes what? A negative half. All right, and our right option here is option C. Now, question six. Okay, it's a bit tedious, but it says here, given the line this, which of the following is parallel to it? Okay, so we must liken this line to the slope-intercept form. Okay, so we know what our slope is. Then we must now try to find which of this slope, since it's parallel, so M1 should be equal to M2. Okay, so whichever slope it is must be the same, okay, in any of this. So let us liken this to this. So this is uh, 3x minus 2y equal to 6. So I'm going to take 3x here. So this is minus 2y equal to, uh, taking 3x here becomes a negative 3x plus 6. I'll divide everything by negative 2. Okay, negative 2. This cancels. We have y is equal to negative. We cancel negative. So we have 3 over 2x. And positive divided by negative is a negative. 6 divided by 2 is a 3. So here, our slope is 3 over 2. So any of this equation, if anyone gives us a slope as 3 over 2, that will be the line that it is parallel to this. Okay, so let's try option A. Option A, let's um, convert this to slope-intercept form. So we have, uh, we have minus 3y equal to, taking this here becomes negative 2, okay, negative 2x, all right? And it gives us uh, negative 2x plus 5. So here we divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. You can see here we have uh, 2 over 3. All right, so which is not this? Do we see it? Which is not this? So let us cancel this out. Here we have uh, uh, 4x plus 6y equal to 12. I will take this here, so I have 6y equal to negative 4x and uh, plus 12. If I divide by 6, divide by 6, okay, this is 2 over 3, which is not 3 over 2. So, no. So, we cross this. Now, let's check here. This is 3x plus 2y equal to 5, all right? I will take this guy here, so we have 2y equal to negative 3x and uh, plus 5. So I will divide by 2, divide by 2. But you can see here, if I divide by 2 here, we have negative. This is a negative 3 uh, over 2. But our m, okay, for this our equation is a positive. So no. All right, let's try the last one. So we have 6x minus 4y equal to 12. Let's take this guy here. So we have uh, negative 4y equal to negative 6x plus 12. And I would divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. This cancels this. We have y. Uh, negative will cancel, so we have positive 2 here. We'll go 3 times 2 here. We'll go 
two times. So we have three over two x. All right, plus, uh, this would be negative 12 divided by four. What's 12 divided by four? Uh, that will give us uh, three, okay? So you can see this is the answer. All right, so because this is our M here and it's equal to this. All right, so our right option here is what option D, okay? So this is the line that is parallel to this. Now, look, our final question here says, uh, given the line this, identify which of the following lines is perpendicular to this. Okay, so this is quite straightforward. Our M here is 1 over 2. Remember from perpendicular line, M1, M2 is equal to negative 1. We know our M1 as this. That's half. So here we have half times M2 equal to negative 1. So I'll just cross multiply 2 times this. So we have M2 equal to negative 2. So our M2 will be negative 2. So we check our equation to find what value that had. This is it. This is M, okay, negative 2. So the equation that will be perpendicular to this is option A. All right, so thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you so much. And uh, uh, please do share this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow dtwgdprep.com for the free course and for other resources. And um, you know, uh, you need you want to join our groups, Facebook group, Telegram group, Reddit group. I'll leave all the links in the video description box of this video. If you want one on one tutoring, you can also contact me. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ, for He's the way, He's the truth, and He's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us heaven here on earth with peace, joy, and love in our hearts. Thank you and see you in our next video. You are destined to win in your test and also in life.